new, new, new developing news in the Diddy scandal. New news in the Diddy scandal. I'm ready to ride. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Relax, 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 relax. Now, new news emerging the Diddy scandal. I saw this video that I really like by a program called WatchMojo.com. Uh, that's who I'm referring to it because I got this content from them and I just wanted to break it down because they went into certain things and I'm going to pause it and I'm going to give you a street perspective of someone that been through exactly what Diddy is going through, you know, point of view so you can get a better understanding to let you know how serious this is because right now he's fighting for his life right now. This is what's happening. All right. If you subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you're not subscribed, Subscribe and hit the notification bell, and you know the like button is a must. I. All right, you know what it is. Unique Mac Audio, man. I just wanted you to see this, man. Right now is prison time for Diddy. I got both of these pictures up there before I start this video. I'm going to leave this picture on the right down bottom where it says it's prison time for Diddy on the screen so you could understand how he went from that above in the white tux sitting over his mansion, living on top of the world, and now it's prison time. This could happen to any one of you rappers out there, anyone out there. Do you know that now if you meet a female and you fly her to another state, right? Take a shopping, you know what I mean? And then you come back and, you know, you compensate her for, you know, the time she may have lost at work or whatever because you wanted to spend the time with her. Um, that's ex trafficking. That's all I want you to know. It's just as simple as that. So that's where we at, and we're going to move forward. Let me play this video, give you the update on what's going on with Diddy right now, and courtesy of Watch Mojo. From his $48 million Miami mansion to hell on earth where chaos reigns. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at the latest developments surrounding the arrest of Sean Diddy Combs following a grand jury indictment. Warning, some of the information contains distressing details. Combs has pled not guilty. Those were the only words he ordered in court yesterday. Hell on earth prison conditions. The music mogul who once traveled by private jet to all those mansions is now in a jail that is notorious for its bad living conditions. Following his arrest for racketeering, trafficking by force, fraud, or coercion, and transportation to engage in relations for money, rapper and music magnate Sean Diddy Combs is being held in Brooklyn's notorious Metropolitan Detention Center, commonly referred to as the MDC. Now, I was held there about three, four times I went through there, right? I went through there coming up, I, I'm, I'm gonna show your journey. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show your federal journey. Let's go on the federal journey. Let, let, let's take a ride. I feel like taking a ride. I just had something popped in. You know, I mean, this was a trying time, but you know, I make fun out of everything, right? Because you know, God put me through all that to make me who I am today. Now, where was I coming from? Up, 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 up. Going to Raybrook. Okay, going to Raybrook. Going to Raybrook. Bong, 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 bong. Okay, yes. All right. I was coming from Lee County, right? I leave Lee County, go to Otisville. Then, you know, because that's a holdover. And then they send you over to uh, uh, um, Lewisburg, you know, all this in the Northeast region. And then they send you over to uh, MDC Brooklyn. <laughs> you know what I mean? MDC Brooklyn became a transit center. And the transit center means that inmates come there from all over that's going to locations that's driving distance from there. That's how they set this business structure up. So all the jails in that area, if you had inmates going there, they'll come there as a holdover in MDC, Brooklyn, and you'll stay there, you out on a tier, or you locked in if your security's high, whatever, the 23-hour lockdown that, you know, um, Diddy's on type thing, so you got where I'm coming from. So now we up in there, and they turn around and they take you being in 
MDC Brooklyn, and they ship you to where you have to go. But while I was there, it was nothing but people there that lived in Brooklyn, Queens, Harlem, you know what I mean, in all the boroughs. So it was like being home, you know? It was sweet, let me say that, right? For prison. Where did he is asking to go or his lawyer his asking to send him is the real hell on earth. Where he's at now is is heaven compared to where they talk about sending him out in Newark. You know? Let me just say that. So he don't know what he's in for. I'm going to give you one of the rides. I'm going to give you the rides. I know this is Diddy Jones, but just go back and let me do what I do. Right, check, check. I'm going to give you one of the rides. MDC Brooklyn, right? MDC Brooklyn. All right, now nah, let's down to it. We're going to jump to Newark, right? The Newark joint that he's trying to go to. It's glass visits. You're in a little square room about the size of the box that I'm in where your shoulders is on the wall. You know what I mean? And you got a, got a glass in front of you, a solid steel door behind you, and you got a phone that you pick up, and if somebody's on the other end and it's connected and they're recording every word you're saying and you're sitting there and you're touching the glass and all that movie stuff you see, right? That's at the real hell on earth out there in Newark. That's how they do the visits, right? But in MDC Brooklyn, the visiting hall is like you go into a, 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 a office area that has a bunch of cubicles, but the cubicles from, you know, even though it goes from the waist up solid and then it's empty on the top or whatever, um, it has glass and you're sectioned in and locked in with a door so you locked in these cubicles and you sit across from your family in a nice clean setting and you could actually hold hands and talk to your female and smell the perfume instead of being through a glass, holding a phone, touching your hand on the dirty glass that you don't know what stains is on the glass. That's the real hell on earth. <laughs> you know what I mean? So Diddy, you don't want to go there, dog. Trust me, you don't want to go there. You'd rather stay right where you at. It's messed up over there. Big rats running everywhere. Paint chip, but welcome to prison, man. You broke the law. This is what they give you. All right? And they get run down, too. So that's what it is. I've had clients describe MDC as hell, as the worst conditions they've been in. The facility has long been infamous for its troubling conditions, which include rat infestations, rampant violence, and understaffing. Tell me a prison that don't have rats. Anybody watching this that been to prison, tell me a prison that don't have rats. I mean, they're making a big deal. Are they making a big deal in prison, you know, um, conditions because, you know, Diddy's locked up? Or they really want to know about the prison conditions? I don't know a prison. I've never been in a prison that didn't have rats. I've never been in a prison that didn't have rats. 26 years in federal prison. Never been in a prison that didn't have rats. So if y'all know a prison that didn't have rats, y'all tell me. Because they make it a big thing about MDC, Brooklyn, have rats. Come on, dog. You know what to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got slippers. <laughs> you know? That's all I'm going to say. Uh, all right. Violence is not the only issue. Accusations of medical neglect, staffing shortages, smuggling of drugs, some allegedly facilitated by employees. There have also been instances of falling calm. See, what they don't understand is, right? What they don't understand is uh, what y'all don't understand. A lot of y'all because you haven't been in there. I froze it on that picture because there's a world within that world. And everything that happens in this world that we're in out here as free citizens is happening within those walls you see. It's a whole world. And that world travels to every prison and they have codes and, you know, they have certain things that they do. There's a world within that building that you'll never understand, that you could lose your life for. Uh, Something you would think is trivial, don't make sense, and you're standing on your head upside down, you know what I mean? Looking up at the lights at the ceiling and you counting them as you taking your last breath and wondering, what did he just take my life for? You see where I'm coming from with this? Yo, hold up, man. Hold up, hold up. Let's play this. I think I might be getting a little too deep for y'all right now. Concrete, freezing temperatures, and quote, busted cells. Moreover, the prison has seen its share of inmate deaths, including incidents of prisoners taking their own lives. It is a horrible, horrible place. Despite multiple reports of. I, I see any time my prisoner take his own life, bro. 
I remember when I was at Lump Park, because you know I like to ride. So I'm going to give y'all drips and drabs so you know to go back and look at the old prison stories, because a lot of these was in detail in the prison stories if you want to look for them. So you can look for the keywords. Lump Park might be in the title or whatever. But I'm in Lump Park, right? They grabbed me on some bull crap, and they sent me up to the shoe. I go up to the shoe, and they got me waiting about, you know, 20, 30 minutes. Normally, they put you right in, right? For 20, 30 minutes. I said, yo, what's up? What's the hole? He said, now we're cleaning the cell. I said, oh, there ain't no hotel. What do you mean you clean the cell? He said, now we're cleaning the cell. All right, so I go up there, and, you know, they handcuff me, walk me up the tee. I go in the cell, and when I go in the cell, I mean, it smells of uh, nothing but disinfectant. So I'm thinking maybe someone was up in here drunk or something, you know? So I'm laying down, and I can't barely breathe, and I'm taking my sheets, and I'm fanning my face to try and get some air around because the stench is, you know, this disinfectant got me ready to goggle. And I'm, I, 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 I'm locked in three walls because it had bars on the front of the gate, right, where, uh, you know, would be the fourth wall. But I'm gagging, right? So my man... Next door, put his mirror through the thing. He said, yo, you need New York. That's you? I said, yeah. He said, yo, what's up? I said, no. He said, damn, I can't believe they put you in that cell. I said, what do you mean they can't believe they put me in the cell? He said, yeah. He said, dude just hung himself in that cell. You know? He said, and he's sitting on himself. He said, we never smelt nothing like that before, man. That, that, that last death stench. He said, yo, we couldn't breathe. He said, that's why they got all that disinfected in there. They said, let that air out at least 24 hours. <laughs> you know what I mean? So they put me in a cell with a dude that just committed a sign. And I'm laying there, and I'm looking up, and I'm saying, man, where you at, my dude? What's happening up there? Is it better than this? You know what I mean? So that's how I kept my sanity, by looking up, talking to the dude that just committed a sign. He said, yo. What's up up there? You know, was it worth it? <laughs> you know, like, where, where we at right now? You know what I mean? Like, you know, man, I mean, but I say that to say that you don't want to have to go through these things. So that's why I say don't get involved in the street. Get out the street. Get out the street. Get out the street. Get out the street. Don't just watch this video to be listening to what's going on with Diddy. Y'all listen to the message that Unique Make Audio giving you to stay out the streets. It's not worth it. They will bury you with time or you will kill each other in time. Stop it. Let's get back to this video. But yeah, that was, you know, when I had to go in the cell with the dude to just, oh man, I'm like, whoa. Well, you know, I already knew God had me. He put me there for a reason. So it is what it is. All right of human rights violations, the MDC remains a primary holding facility for high-risk detainees, housing up to 1,600 inmates, including the likes of cartel kingpins and other dangerous criminals. It's so out of control inside that four federal judges are reportedly refusing to send any more prisoners here. Diddy is hardly the first celebrity to be locked up at the MDC, as past high-profile detainees include Ghislaine Maxwell, R. Kelly, pharma bro Martin mm. Shkreli, and Nexium cult founder Keith Raniere, among others. Combs's lawyers have argued that the facility is not fit for pre-trial detention, specifically citing the recent string of detainee deaths. Now arguing for him to be moved to a prison in New Jersey in the lead up to this trial, citing the prison's poor conditions, violence, and deaths. What on earth make them think that Newark is any better than Brooklyn MDC? They're both trash, but they're both prison. Welcome to prison, Diddy. No more white suits and beautiful women talking about you in a positive way that you're the man. That's over. Hmm. Denied bail twice. Look, he has limitless funds. He can hop on his plane. He can go anywhere in the world. The defense says, look, he gave up his passport. He came to New York willingly. Despite the poor conditions at the Metropolitan Detention Center, the rap mogul will there remain detained there. This. You got to see that. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. That's a typical cell.